So we're talking about cage, how to find uh, some different notes on the fretboard and how those notes start to tie into different chord shapes that we know. So we're starting with C, fifth string, second string, back to the fifth string, third string, so back to the third string, first string, first string, fourth string, sixth string, fourth string. Here's a fourth string with a pointer, fourth string, second string. So uh, here it is again. And here's how this, tie this ties into um, our chords. So we've got C. Those are our two notes in the C chord. And then we've got this C chord, our A-shaped C chord. This is a very unusable shape. I would never ask someone to use this shape. I never use this shape at all, but it's kind of just there to show us the theory behind it, right? This is a G chord moved up to the eighth fret, and this is a C chord, but just in a G shape. And this is where we have our three C notes there. Um, these three C notes that we were playing make this shape. And then we have our last one. This is a D shape. Also, again, I really would never use this shape too much. Use this shape all the time, but the fourth string just kind of makes it total bare to kind of just play. But practice those shapes and just go through and memorize where all those notes are. And then we can go and start to um, play some licks off of those notes.